So as you can see, I have everything mounted here, and you can probably also see that I need to do some cleaning here. It's actually the fall right now here in the United States when I'm filming this, and uh, this is the remnants of a summertime of bugs and spiders and whatnot, so it needs to be cleaned off when I do my my fall cleaning out here because there's a lot of leaves to clean up as well but that's not what you came here to see the camera is actually very useful I've had it mounted for quite some time actually since the unboxing of this device and um, I find it most useful if I'm waiting for a package and I want to know if it's arrived well I have the camera pointing down to the area that a UPS driver or FedEx driver or even my postal uh, carrier would leave a package and also I can see if the mail is here and whatnot. Also the thing that's really cool about it is that if I'm working in my house, in my home office, I can see who's at the door if somebody's at the door. I can just quickly bring up my camera feed and see who's uh, knocking at my door. The other cool feature about this is that you can actually listen in and use the onboard mic on this thing to speak through it. So you can actually use it as an intercom as well. So there's several times where I've uh, had a friend come over and uh, they arrived before I got home and they're knocking on my door. So I checked my camera here and I was able to actually, when I was miles away, I was actually able to uh, communicate with them just through this device, sort of like an intercom system. The only drawback of it is that uh, you can only either listen or speak at one time. You can't do both at the same time. So it's uh, something on the app where you, where you initiate the speaker or you initiate the microphone on the device. But it's still really cool. Now it has night vision on it, so you know you can pretty much see anything at night. Even if I don't have the porch light on, I can see perfectly fine. Uh, if you're familiar with the night vision, it's not green, it's actually a black and white. So it has the infrared camera on there. So it's a very useful camera, it's very cool. And one of the things that kind of blew my mind on it is that you can actually remotely view it. Even if you're not on your home wireless network, you can do it from somewhere else. So if you're security minded, or again, if you just want to check if you have a package waiting for you at your house, it's a very useful dev device. So this is the app that I use to monitor my camera. It's actually called IP Cam Viewer. Now there's a light version, which is a free version, and there's a pro version. I actually purchased the pro version. It was only $3.99. And uh, in addition to getting a couple of extra features, I'm also supporting a developer of a product that I use on a regular basis. So I feel good about that. So again, I have the pro version of this. There are different solutions to viewing your IP camera. Some devices, you might buy them and they'll come with their own solution. For instance, um, I have a couple of videos to post on D-Link IP cameras. And uh, D-Link offers an end-to-end -end solution. It's very friction-free. You don't have to do a lot of the legwork yourself. So you basically buy the camera and you use their software, sets it up, and you can you know, view through that camera you know, on your Wi-Fi network, on the internet, all that stuff. You don't really need to you know, go through all the legwork of you know, setting things up yourself. The benefit of buying a camera like the one I showed you earlier in this video and then using IP Cam Viewer is if you're budget minded and if you like to tinker a little bit. So if you're the type of person that just wants an end-to-end -end solution, definitely go with a device like a D-Link. But uh, if you don't mind, you know, rolling up your sleeves and, you know, checking things out, tinkering a little bit, something like this works very well. But uh, IP Cam Viewer is a great little app and uh, let's actually launch it right now. Um, as you can see, this is the live feed from my porch. And as you can see, the fall leaves down there. But uh, it's a very simple interface here. You have a couple of options up top. It actually gives you the time and date up here. And uh, if you want, you can actually interact with the camera itself. So if I tap on here again, you have a couple of little buttons up top here, one of which is the speaker. So if you click on this, you initiate the speaker and as you see up here or maybe you saw over there it said listen initiated now I don't know if you can hear that not a lot going on out there right now but there is a, a feed I can hear the the feed coming from the speakers in the back here let's try that again see if you can hear that 
Now, of course, you can't expect high definition, high quality sound out of this. This is something that is potentially going out over the internet. So you want the, the video quality and the sound quality to be as small as possible. That way the speed is faster. So if somebody was talking right now outside, I'd be able to hear it. So as I mentioned before, you can only use either the speaker or the mic one at a time. You can't use them at the same time. So let's turn off the microphone, or actually the speaker here, but it's the, the microphone on the device itself. And I'm going to turn on the mic on here on my tablet, which turns on the speaker on the camera itself. So there we go. It says talk initiated up there. And whatever I'm saying right now is being picked up by my tablet and being fed out to my camera. So I've had people tell me, because I've never experienced it myself, obviously if I'm the one communicating I only get, I only know what's going on on this end of things, but I've heard people tell me that it's the equivalent of a drive-through. So if you've ever gone through a fast, fast food drive-through, this is the quality of the sound that you're going to get from the speaker on the camera itself. So it is, you know, like I said, it's a very cool sort of little mind-blowing feature when you can actually install something like this. It's, it's, it's a cool little thing to do. And especially the thing that I found most cool about it is when I'm miles away, like tens of miles away, and somebody's waiting for me on my porch and I say, listen, I'm running late or something like that and, uh, you know, or just leave the thing there, whatever it is, whatever the situation is, you can be a far bit away and actually communicate with somebody sort of walkie talkie style through the camera. So it's really cool. Now with this app, you can actually maneuver this camera. Some IP cameras are, they don't, they don't have movement to them. This one does. So if I double click, on the uh, image there as you saw, it brings up a slightly different interface. And up here there's a little arrow that I'm going to click and it's going to give me some functions here where I can actually, these were, some of these you might notice were in the, uh, the previous uh, uh, interface. You could take a snapshot if you want, you can use the, the speaker or mic functions. But down here you'll notice that you actually have the ability to move this camera around. So I'm just going to show you live here. Of course, I'm on my home wireless network right now, so it's going to be a little bit quicker. If I was doing this through the internet, there'd be probably, I want to say, maybe a, a five second lag between me maneuvering the camera and actually the camera maneuvering. So that's not bad because, you know, five, five or so seconds, me telling the camera to move from, you know, hundreds of miles away potentially, then the camera moving and then it feeding back an image to me, that's not a long period of time. So I'm just going to move over with the arrow here. As you can see, it's pretty quick when I do it here because I'm, you know, both my tablet and the, ca the uh, camera itself are on my home wireless network. But I can just move this thing around and you can look around on my front porch and that way I can see, you know, is there a package out there for me? That's primarily why I did it. And of course, you know, again, if you're security minded, this is a great way to see who's at your front door as well. Now this is a 480p image and through my experience, you know, the, the infrastructure of the internet and mobile devices isn't to a point right now where you would want anything high definition. You can get an IP camera that's 720p. Personally, I wouldn't want it because, again, that's just more information that it has to send over the internet. So this is sufficient. Again, I can make out everything on the screen there. I can see what I need to see. And as you can see, my porch also needs to be redone. So <laughs> I need to, I get a lot of work to do out there. But uh, such is when you have an old house. But that is the app, the IP Cam Viewer Pro app. And I definitely recommend it if you want to, again, tinker and set up your own cam viewer like this, definitely put down the $3.99 on top of the actual camera price. You can actually get a good working system on the cheap. If you go, again, with like a D-Link or, you know, another company that gives you an end-to-end -end solution, you will be paying a little bit more up front for that camera. But still, again, I think it's definitely worth it no matter which way you go. So here's my home screen on my tablet and you might notice right there is an actual little widget which is actually pretty cool. It's uh, a widget that shows you the live cam feed. So 
obviously you could launch the IPCAM viewer itself, or you could just click on the widget and go into the app itself that way. I think that's really cool because I don't need to, you know, have the the app open to be able to monitor what's going on on my porch. I just have the widget open and that's pretty cool. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you wanna help out my channel, give me a thumbs up, favorite this video, you can share this video, you can leave me a tip on my YouTube page, or you can actually join my Patreon, all of which is greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.